Hello everyone. It has been a little, a little while since I've left you guys a message. Um, I want to give you guys an update. It has been a few weeks. It's actually been like a month and a couple days. I think the last video I, I um, uploaded was November 13th and it is now December 17th, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's been about a month and a, a month and a week, almost something like that. But anyway, give you guys a life update on everything that's going on. Um, since you blah blah, since we've last talked, um, we are now at our new house um, in Fort Bliss, Texas, on post. Um, I'm pretty much so still getting adjusted to the whole situation here. It's a little weird, but I'm still getting adjusted. Um, El Paso is very different than what I'm used to on the East Coast. Um, yeah, the West Side is very different. El Paso is like super dry, deserty, I guess you would call it. It's very different. It's kind of weird. Um, it's very dry. There's like not hardly any grass here. They've got like mountains and dirt and rocks and that's about it. <laughs> Um, yeah, like I said, we're living on post housing, so everything's different now. My background, you guys can see, it's like not really very clean around here because we're still, you see boxes, we're still like trying to move in. Um, we got our household goods about a week ago. We left and drove from North Carolina to El Paso, Texas. Um, we left on the 29th. And it took us about two and a half days to, get, to drive here. And that's because we drove straight. Like, we literally did not stop, like, anywhere. Like, at, like a hotel-wise stopping or something? We didn't do. Like, we stopped and ate. And we didn't even stop to eat. Like, we stopped, got food, and kept driving. Um, we stopped and took, like, some mini naps and just kept driving. Like, we literally did not stop. It was... I'm being totally honest, the worst experience of my life, and I never want to do it again. And like, none of us wanted to get in our car in my in the truck for like almost a week after we got back. Nobody wanted to go anywhere. No one. Normally, everybody wants to jump in the car and ride somewhere. And people are like, mm -mm, "I'm just not feeling it." And me, I started hating my own my own um, SUV after that time period. I kept looking at my Tahoe and was like, "Do I really like you now?" Because not really feeling you after this freaking 26 hour drive mm -mm. so but anyway we've got here to our house our house i love our house that we live in now it's like so much bigger than um the apartment we live in now these actually i think they call them i don't know if they're townhouses or condos or what like what do you call this where we live at now but we live on post we live on main post at fort bliss um it's a little aggravating sometimes going through the gate or whatever, ding your little ID through or whatever. But besides that, I love it. Um, I love how everything is really like um, close knit. The people are really cool that we live around and by. Everyone's really friendly. Um, there's like so much to do on base, like um, Freedom Crossing, which is like a little mini mall area. And it kind of has like a Dollar Tree and um, clothing stores and then the um, main PX I'm sorry if you guys like noisy my daughter's over here she hasn't got registered in school yet so she's kind of still home getting on my nerves but um it has a main PX it has like this mini indoor mall it has like there's food places on base like Popeyes and Burger King and um, Starbucks and there's a couple of schools on post um, a lot of them are outside the gate and when I say outside the gate, I mean like literally outside the gate, like they're attached to the outside of the gate and they literally like certain points of time will open the gate. The the like security guards will open the gate. The military security guards will open the gate at certain times of the day when school starts and when school ends and they'll, the kids and stuff can walk back and forth through and the parents can walk with the kids back and forth. The parents show, they gotta show their military ID to walk back and forth through the gate. It's kind of weird cause you can walk by and be like, hey, how you doing? You walk in the gate and by the time you walk by, like, uh, I need your ID. But security purposes for being on post. Um, we live in, like I said, in on post housing. We live in, please excuse my hair. I had to, I had some, y'all saw that little like twisty things ahead of my hair. I actually just washed my hair and stuff today, but um, 
we live in a three bedroom and two and a half bath. I'm home here at uh, Fort Bliss. Um, I will definitely do a house tour of our home here um, at Fort Bliss because we live in a development called Van Horn on Fort Bliss. And like I searched high and low for um, tours of Van Horn housing for Fort Bliss and nobody had anything for Van Horn housing. Like there was nothing like it's almost like it does not freaking exist or something. Um, it does have a very similar makeup to um, if anyone had anyone's coming here and they have heard of Rio Bravo housing. It's the exact same. They say it's the exact same layout of Rio Bravo. I haven't seen yet. I'm going to see that soon because my friend lives. She moved here. Her husband was at Fort Benning at the same time. My husband was at Fort Benning and we became friends. And then they got stationed here at Fort Bliss. And then we got stationed here at Fort Bliss. So, um, she lives in Rio Bravo, which actually is like five minutes from here. Um, and we live in Van Horn, which, you know, is over here on, on the, where we live on what they call main post. Um, then there's like El Paso, there's like a west side, a east side, and, and so on, whatever. But, um, her, she lives in a four bedroom, I think it's three, two and a half bath. Um, townhome. It has the same makeup though, like Rio Bravo homes and Van Horn homes are the exact same. Um, it has fenced in backyard and everything. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. It's not, my house is not clean. I'm going to be honest. It's so not clean. Um, like I said, we're still trying to move in. Everything is still like getting worked out here, but I'll do a video of our house probably like the next day or so. But, um, yeah, we went to a Christmas party here. Um, a few days ago at Fort Bliss and, um, it was for EFMP. So anyone with EFMP that, um, I think I talked about that in one of my videos, when you have children, exceptional children that are in the EFMP, um, process with the army, they have cute little like, um, Christmas parties that are, are meant for those kids. And it's really cool because we went there. They had like cookies. They had a lot of activities the kids could do. They got to meet Santa Claus. Santa Claus gave them a gift. It was really sweet. It was really cute. Um, it was pretty cool. We enjoyed it. And then, um, we went to the main, like, Christmas event they had at, um, Freedom Crossing. Freedom Crossing is, like, a huge plaza place here at Fort Bliss. And, um, like I said, it has, like, movie theaters and it has the commissary and it has the large PX and, um, Buffalo Wild Wings and steak houses and it's, like, a huge shopping area. It has, like, this mini mall, indoor, outdoor mini mall has a lot of things going on, but they had a huge event. They had like live bands. They had, um, DJs that were there. They had people singing Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. They rolled up in a really nice red sports car. It was really cool. Actually, I have a picture of me and the kids with them. Um, they got different events and different vendors and it's really cool out there. Um, we had a great time. We were out there maybe about 30, 45 minutes. Not that very long because, um, I was pretty tired and ready to come home, so we didn't stay out that long. Um, my husband has not been around, though, because um, he got deployed. The D word. Um, yeah, but he'll be back soon, I hope. Um, yeah. So, anyway, I just want to give you guys a life update because I got a couple messages from people in my inbox wanting to know, you know, where we were at because it's been like a month since I did a video. But we're doing great. My older daughter's at school. My younger daughter's here. She had a whole school situation and I kind of withdrew her from the school she was at and now I'm putting her in a new school, which is on post. Long story, I'll probably let you guys know how that works out. Um, because we didn't know that Fort Bliss in El Paso has like an open school zoning thing. So you don't have to go to the school that is necessarily within your district type of thing. You can kind of go to school anywhere as long as your parent takes you. Which is fine with me. I'm fine with taking her to school because that's what I did anyway her entire life. I've always taken her to school. That's the way I prefer it anyway. Um, and hey. the school is on post and it's about, it's only like five minutes from our house anyway. Um... Anyway, yeah, we're finally in Fort Bliss. We've been here about two weeks now, about two and a half, yeah, about two weeks now. Um, and that is our current life. Oh, and we adopted a puppy. She's coming to Doria. 
That's Luna. She's a five month old German Shepherd puppy. And she doesn't listen very well. Anyway, I'll do a tour of the house shortly. And that's pretty much the update. So until next time, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to ask. Be blessed.